what a point in time to launch a project that was crafted through lockdowns and titled Freedom to Roam. Born three years ago as a concept of film, music and visual art to represent topics that are hugely important to us. Climate change, migration, rewilding, empathy and human displacement. Freedom to Roam, not linked in any way to the current climate but ironically apt. A platform that maybe represents an ideology that the likes of John Lennon once wrote about. Or maybe just perhaps it touches on an idealism that we can all dare to hope for. As we often turn on the news to hear of so many horrific stories and tragic updates, it strikes me that we need to reverse this idea of only a negative bombardment being normal. For our mental health, our daily well-being, and to help harness the energy and adrenaline that can be found through positive outlooks and actions. Imagine this. You awake, put on the headlines, and 80% of what you hear are the good deeds. The solutions, the people working together for one another, for the future of the planet and their children, not for the instant gratification of a quick fire result, not to avoid the great sadness faced internationally, but with the intention of a long-term strategy of a better world to inherit in hundreds of years to come. To plant a tree that will be at its prime, not in our lifetime, but in 200 years and beyond. This project, has allowed us to look for compassion, for hope and for potential. Our evening will open with a new documentary, Connected, by multi-award winning director Nicholas Jones. Whilst restricted by COVID, we found some incredible stories of people highlighting our connection with nature, our access to it and what possibilities lie ahead for future generations. We'll then perform our new album, The Rhythms of Migration, to you in its entirety, accompanied by stunning visual art from Amina Kuzminski. I wrote this speech whilst I listened to a reading from small things like these by Claire Keegan. What is the point of being alive if we aren't helping each other, she writes. From little acorns grow mighty oaks.